I'm Harvey Kerr from Monitor Deloitte. Hello, my name is Kurt Dassel. I uh, am a director at Monitor Deloitte. Um, this presentation today at the MPEP seminar is really a sneak preview of some research we've been doing over the last year, looking at cases where models have scaled successfully. What were the barriers that those models encountered? Um, how did they overcome those barriers? What did the firms do? What did facilitators do? Um, and what can we learn from those examples about how we achieve success and scaling in the future? To set a little context, uh, uh, there's been a lot of excitement in the field about uh, a thing that um, uh, I think is a field we haven't quite uh, settled on a name yet. Uh, but it's uh, called impact enterprises or inclusive businesses or uh, market-based solutions. Uh, and it's an enterprise that is commercially viable, that serves the poor in some meaningful way, and is scalable. It can get to a sufficient size. But there's a legitimate question around, uh, are these enterprises achieving the impact we really want them to have? Uh, today we have a lot of impact investment money going after a small number of impact enterprises. And so the question is, do we have an impact bubble? Uh, and this is an important question because uh, if we do, bubbles tend to burst, and they burst with unexpected and typically unpleasant consequences. And increasingly we've been focused on the second part of that question, how do you get models to scale? What we see in the world today is a huge proliferation of models that are effective in certain poor, are viable, but they're working at very small scale. And because of this challenge, um, our team uh, has been looking at how you scale these enterprises. Uh, we focused a lot over the years on business models and how you get the business model right, uh, because it's, it's great if you have some whiz-bang technology, but typically that's not enough to be successful. You have to create a business around this technology or product or service that, that actually is commercially viable and actually can scale, and that's not easy to do. Uh, but over the years, we've also recognized that the business sits in an environment, and the environment matters a lot as well. And they're not universally good business models and universally bad business models. Rather, the business model works in its environment, so there's a fit that you have to have. The other thing that's occurred to us is sometimes firms can't solve these problems on their own. Sometimes, if you're a large firm, you may have the resources it takes to really address these barriers and scale the model, but lots of smaller firms don't have the resources. Um, that are required, they don't have the networks that are required, they don't have the influence that's required to really pull these things together. And so what we've noticed in our research is there's often a role for a market facilitator, normally a third party who's not one of the market participants, who comes in and helps unlock some of these barriers to scale, working with and alongside the firms. Um, these could be donor agencies, they could be foundations, they could be non-profits on the ground, they could be governments. Um, working to address these problems and really unlock uh, the, the challenge of scale. Uh, we'll be publishing our report at the end of March 2014, um, so today is really just um, a little trailer uh, for that.